Hi, I'm Sarah Shira, and this little video is designed to help you knit the funky fringe beard on the gnome pun intended pattern. Meet Gnomeldor. Gnomeldor is a very handsome gnome with a wonderful looped fringe beard. May look like you do a lot of attaching or fussing, but the truth is you knit it sideways and you unravel it and it's kind of magical. So let's have a look at how that works. This is what that beard looked like before. So for contrast or for explanation, if you can see, we've got the bobble and then we've got the bits here along this edge or where we knit through the back loop. And now I've done the very last ridge and let's talk about how that last row and the unraveling works. All right, now I've already cut my yarn because uh, trying to deal with two balls of yarn and a video and the cord for the microphone's a bit much. So I've got five stitches on my needle. I've got my bobble at the top facing the same as the tip. And this is where I um, did the long tail cast on. So everything is here at the top. That's kind of important. So we end up with uh, the right stitches dropping down. So we're gonna bind off one stitch. We do that by knitting two stitches and then we hop the first stitch over the second. Now, normally this is the point where um, you would cut your yarn. So let's pretend snip. Now you've got it cut. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna fasten this stitch off simply by pulling and pulling and pulling and pulling. And now I'm just gonna keep pulling, 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 pulling until that loop fastens itself off because now only one set of um, threads are coming through it. So now we've got three stitches left on the needle and all we're gonna do is pull the needle out. All right, so we've got all three stitches pulled out. Two of them are fastened off. We bound off one stitch and the other stitch we just basically made disappear by going poof, you're not there anymore. What we need to do is we need to unravel these three stitches and they will unravel all the way this way. So when we kind of pull at it with our needle, what's gonna happen is it's gonna come all the way up and you will need to make sure that each loop unravels all the way. And then you'll pull the next one, especially with this kind of um, single ply yarn, sometimes it wants to stick. So you just need to keep persuading it that it wants to go all the way up until all the, the loops are revealed. Now, of course, we increased and decreased, so it won't always be three stitches um, in, or three loops in front of us. Um, some of the stitches, we got up to seven stitches, so seven minus the two knit through to the back loop. That would be five loops on some rows, but we just keep pulling and pulling. So I'm gonna stop here partway through and let you see what that looks like, where we've still got the garter stitches and we have some of the loops happening. So we pull and see this one wants to stick. It's kind of snagged on this here. So I'm just gonna get that persuaded out and I'm unlooping and getting towards the end. So there's less to brace against. So I'm just gonna grab here. And then there's the last one, which was our cast on and first row. And I've unlooped that. So this is what we're left with. which I think is pretty magical. Uh, maybe that's why I named the first one uh, Gnombledore because it looks so much like wizardry. So you can see we've got the two stitches here that we knit through the back loop, nice and tight. We've got the bobble, and then we've got four strands of yarn. What are we gonna do with those? Well, what I did is I knotted each end. I just tied knots using the two stitches or the two, um, the two strands. So I just literally tied off two knots on each end. And then what I did was I placed it over the gnome, but to make this less confusing, I'll, I'll do it like he's at his back. So you get it nice and snug up under the gnome. You really wanna push it almost up under that brim. And then what I did was I took two of those str strands, so one end, and I just kind of secured this one side just right at the edge and then stuck them through the hoop and snipped them or stuck them through the hat, pulled a little tightly and snipped them. And then I did the same thing for one of these stitches. I just 
put it up into the hat across, sort of up and through with my needle, pulled tight and snipped it. There's a picture in the pattern that shows that. And then I was left with, with just one strand and I used that one strand and up and over these garter bumps across to sew it in. And depending on your bobble, it may or may not want to kind of gape here at the top. And if you get that gaping, what you can do is just take that yarn as you're sewing across and just sew a little bit here and go through a little bit there. Let me try that with my needle to make sure I'm showing you. So on this side of the bobble and on this side of the bobble, and if you just kind of snug that a little more tightly, the nose will look a little more tight because some bobbles, like I said, kind of get a little sloppy. But that's all there is to this fringe beard. It's fairly simple, fairly straightforward, and I hope you really enjoy the magic of it. I'm Sarah Shira. This is a video from Imagine Landscapes, and this tutorial is designed to help you knit the gnome pun intended gnome pattern. <laughs>